Dandy gang, what's going on guys? A little calmer today. Today is gonna to be a calm, patient, kind of a different style video. We're up here on my favorite Freestone River. Water levels are perfect. We have the whole place to ourselves. It's a nice evening, a little bit windy, but we're gonna to have to be patient. I'm gonna give you the video today, regardless of our success level. But this is just kind of a sit on the bank, observe everything. You gotta just be really, really slow. You gotta slow down, chill out. You gotta watch really carefully out in the water. Look for risers. Don't cast too much. Don't force anything. You gotta be really, really precise. We're out here just trying to catch one, maybe two fish the whole evening. So that's what we're doing today. It's gonna be kind of a hunt instead of actively fishing, if you know what I'm saying. So a little different video. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. Maybe you can just relax to this one, sound of the music, scenery, whatever you're trying to get out of it. As always, make sure you subscribe to the channel, slap a like on the video if you think the content's halfway decent. And as always, if you guys want to use the exact flies that I use in the videos, they're on the website. There's a lot of fishing reports too. Check it out, ddflies.com. The link's right in the description of the video. Go down there, check out what everyone's been catching trout on. So with that being said, I'm gonna show you guys, uh, I'm gonna show you the flies we have tied on right now, and then we're gonna start hunting. We got our winter winner on there, and then we got our orange crush. This is what we got on the Euro rig. Nine foot five weight, we just have set up for dry flies with nothing tied on. So as the evening progresses, we'll see what's happening. And uh, you know, we'll put something on there. So we'll just take some casts right in front of us. Just to make sure we're not messing anything up here. Right in front of us. And we'll go just a little bit farther. Oh, I'm in the tree. Shoot. Damn. Whoa. Just got shot in the chest. Alrighty guys, real opportunity, huge opportunity right now. I'm, uh, I'm scrambling. I got to tie on a dry fly. A big giant fish just rose behind us. I was resetting up the Euro rod after we lost those flies in the tree. But we got to get this nine foot five weight with a caddis immediately. I heard one ro I heard one, uh, one rise, I turned around, big, solid splash. This is a really nice trout. So I think I have a caddis in here somewhere. Maybe I put it in this box. Yeah, it's in this side. My line's all screwed up. I don't even care, I'll figure this out later. Take this caddis. Let's tie this caddis onto the five weight. Let's go catch this big giant brown trout. I'm super pumped right now. I hope you guys are really excited to get a crack at this fish. I cannot believe that there's no one back here today. It's the weekend. It's like 80 and sunny. All right, Mr. Caddis. Let's get the job done, boys. Let's catch this beast. All right. I think I think this will work right here. Plenty close enough. No need to get closer. Here we go, guys. Caddis fly. We could wait to see if he comes up one more time, but I know right where he is. So I think we're gonna take a shot at this trout right now. A little windy. I don't wanna wait and have more kayakers come down the river. I already saw a few people come through today. That'll put this fish down. It's a little bit, it's not quite far enough over, but you never know. You never know. Oh, right there. See that, guys? I just caught it out of the corner of my eye. It's a little windy. Let's see if we can get it over in the drift. Yep, right in there. I was a little bit too far downstream. I gotta get, get it in the current, about four feet higher up in the current. A little bit farther up. Right about, right about there. I bet we're gonna catch this trout. You ready? Right in there. Let's give it a little skitter action. Wow, not taking it. Can you just go behind me? Just go on that side. Thank you. Yeah, they're just not taken, so I don't know. I'm gonna have to put this away until we see them rise again. All right, here's our next attempt. We got this big, heavy, kind of stonefly looking rubber legged thing that I made up. That's mainly just for weight. And then we're trying to get this orange crush right in the strike zone. 
So we got a nice heavy point fly on there now. So we can get down. The wind stopped too, so it's going to be really good, really good drifts from here on out. It'll be much, much easier to Euro nymph effectively. So let's get in here with these heavier flies. And we'll just start a little bit close on the first drift. Not expecting anything. We'll just kind of cover our tracks a little. And then this next drift, I'm thinking we might we might get one here. Let's see if we can really line drive a, a cast in there. That's not too bad. Let's let those go down through. I can feel it on the bottom. Okay, good. I can feel it ticking on the bottom. That's exactly what I want. Man, I can't believe we can't even get a small one, though. Sheesh. Is that a fish? Yeah, it is. Ooh, good one. Good one, guys. Nice big brown trout. Very, very nice fish. Look at this. We just... Oh, man, that might have been that big one we saw rising. I didn't even know that was a fish. Very, very nice one. Holy crap, I can't even believe... Oh my gosh, we hooked a big one. He's freaking going. He's going way down. This is a big one. Don't go near that rock. Don't do it. Look at this one, guys. Big trout. Big trout. On the nymph rod. Big one. Oh my gosh, it's a lunker. I got him in the shallows. It's a huge one. Stud. This would make the whole night. This is a giant trout. This is a giant trout. Very difficult. Very, very difficult in this river to even find fish of this size. Extremely hard. Man, he's in. Look at him. He's way over in the shallows. I hope the hook doesn't come out. This fish has a lot of power. Man, it's a big one. This. Oh, yeah. Lunker. We got a giant. This is my biggest fish on this river. I think it's even bigger than the drill. Look at my rod, guys. This is so much fun. This is an outstanding wild brown trout. Okay, let's let's rethink. What's our tippet size? It's about 5x. We think we got a good hook set. We have them in a good place. There's zero, there is zero reason to panic right now or to rush anything. This fish has plenty more power. Let's get some of this line out of our way. And let's just let this guy do his dance. He's nice and comfy. Oh man, I can see it guys. This is a jumbo. This is a jumbo trout. Oh man. I hope you guys are excited. I'm, I'm, om I'm almost shaking. It's almost setting in. I want to show you this trout so bad. If he gets off, I'm going to be so heartbroken. I might not even be able to sleep tonight. Yep, he's right there. Big one. Oh man, that might be a 20 inch fish. At least. Look at that. It's an absolute jumbo. Yeah, it is. It is an absolute behemoth of a fish. Big wild brown trout. It took our dropper. It took that huge stone. Look at that whopper. It is a wicked giant fish, much bigger than I even thought. He might be 22, 23. He's right here. You guys see him? He's right at my feet. What's he doing? This fish is so strong. Come on, guys. Let's get this one. Here he is. I think we can get him. It is a beautiful fish. Look at the color. This would make the whole... Oh, my God. It's a jumbo. Oh, my God. It's an absolute whale. Look at this big giant trout. This is a freaking giant jumbo huge one. Oh my god. This is about as big as they get. It's about as big as they get, boys. An absolute whale. Alright guys, we're gonna let this trout go. This is probably the biggest trout I'll ever catch in my life. I hope you guys understand what it takes to catch a fish like this out of this particular river. This is probably a six pound fish. Let's get him back to his house. Thank you so much, Mr. Brown. You made my whole entire year. Thank you so much.
All right, so today is just like a good day overall. I was just about to pack up and leave. This guy pulls over, I think I'm gonna get killed. And he's like, it's a downstream guy. So what's your name? Kerry. Kerry, all right, let's get Kerry in the video. I just showed him the trout you guys just saw. So he actually got the sneak peek, but- um, It's so sweet. Kerry, my man, thanks again for pulling over. It was awesome meeting you. And uh, I know we had a little discussion at the cars that night as far as tactics and what flies to use. So I hope you found some success later that evening. Speaking of trout fishing, I want to give away some flies right now. Let's do another giveaway. Why not? Just like the Osable River video. Now you guys blew that one out of the water. I think you had 150 likes, maybe 130 or something in the first 24 hours. So let's do 48 hours and let's do 200 likes. If we can get to that, I'll give away another dozen. Another dozen flies on the house. It'll be a nice little assortment to one of you guys. And I also need you to leave me comments below. That's where I'm randomly going to select one of you guys to be the winner. So leave me the guess, your best guess of the length of the trout we caught today. Speaking of the fly giveaway, speaking of flies, that exact stone fly pattern that caught today's trout is now on the website. It's called the WBT stone fly. So check it out. It's on the website. If you guys want to use that exact fly, you're welcome to. Clearly, it works on the most educated, oldest, smartest wild trout so it's a no-brainer to pick up some of those i want to show you some free information that you guys can check out even if you're not placing an order what you want to do you want to go to ddflies.com and go all the way to the bottom all the way down here and you want to click read all on fishing reports so check this section out you can just see all these customers catching fish here's a rainbow on a dfw we got Ryan down in the Catskills on the Beaver Kill, absolutely nailing seven trout on the Orange Crush. We got Ben absolutely unloading at the Farmington on brown trout on the Orange Crush. And we got some wild rainbows on a DSP. Those are just some examples. There's a million blog posts on there, and those will be updated daily. I do recommend the Orange Crush as of right now and probably for the next month moving forward. What that fly is, it's a March Brown representation with a little extra attractant. So depending on the region you're fishing, that fly is going to be extremely effective for up to the next month, maybe even a little longer than that. So if you guys are looking for some really, really good nymph patterns to be effective over the next four or five weeks, Orange Crush is the fly for you. I personally like to fish a size 14. So check out the website again. Drop a like on the video. Let's get this thing to 200. At least I want to give away some flies. I want to give back. That's all I got for you guys today. I'll see you in the next video.